Each year when the ING New York City Marathon kicks off, there's a wacky sort of tradition. You know, everybody takes off their clothes at the starting line. Things are flying up all over the place. Runners are peeling off all of their layers. But one man follows their running path to pick up the pieces for a good cause. Joining us now is Adam Barukowitz from Wearable Collections. Welcome to the show. When I heard about what you were doing, it really just caught my eye. And I was really shocked to learn the numbers. 300 million pounds of textiles enters the New York City waste stream annually. That is crazy. Yeah, um, that number is it's actually close to 400 million. Really? Um, and it's just starting to be studied now, so it could even be more. That was done in 2004, 2005, waste characterization studied by the New York City uh, Department of Sanitation. All right, so how did you come up with these numbers? I mean, how did you come up with recycling clothes? Well, um, I saw a bag of clothing being left on my hallway for about two or three weeks and realized that it doesn't make sense to pick up one bag at a time. It's really hard uh, economically and efficiently to take care of it that way. So I thought if we could place a bin inside the building, we could provide a service for the building and also come up with an uh, efficient collection strategy. That is amazing because we're so used to going to Goodwill, Salvation Army, getting those drop-offs that way. Not saying that that's not a good thing, but you're right. On a whole, you have to call in for one bag of clothing usually, and it takes a while. This is what I'm curious about. When you went went back, because you did this last year, right? You collected right. 20,000 quote coats or something like that? 27,000 pounds of clothes. Wow. What did you collect this year? Um, we haven't processed the, all the clothing yet, but I believe we collected over 30,000 pounds this year. 30,000 pounds of clothing. Now, what do you do with the clothing? We bring it to a sorting facility, and they determine the final destination of the items. About 50% of the item is going to be reused as secondhand clothing sent to emerging markets in Central and South America. Mm -hmm. About 25% of the items are going to be cut up and used as rags in okay. heavy industry, like automotive and others like that. And another 20% is going to be sent to facilities where it's shredded up and repurposed for fibers, maybe for cushioning on chairs like we're sitting on right now. So every part of a coat or a, uh, an old T-shirt that you have, jeans, every part of that is going to be recycled in some way. For the way. most part, it can could all be reused in one form or another. You are an ecopreneur. That's I true. mean, I, I never really thought about my clothes being recycled and having all these multi-purposes. Well, but when this you think is the reality, right? When you think about all those pounds that go to landfills, we don't even have landfills in New York. So these items... We're shipping that out. We have out. to ship it to neighboring states at cost both... Uh, from an energy standpoint and from a cost to the municipality city itself, we pay nearly 200 pounds per ton to ship to these neighboring states. Well, let me tell you something. The numbers that you gave me are just startling, and we always think about recycling bottles. We talk about recycling, you know, plastic bags. We never think about our clothes and other things like that, so you're making us think on a whole different realm. Yeah, we try to make it as easy for New Yorkers to recycle their clothing as they can, bottles, cans, and newspapers by placing the bins inside the buildings. All right. Adam, thank you so much. For thank more information about wearable collections and how to get that bin, how to donate, go to our website, wpix.com slash morning news. You're doing great things. Thank you so much. And I got to tell you, I'm digging that hair, too. <laughs> I didn't want to start off the interview that way, but I was like, I got to say something about your hair before we leave. That's a, that's a good style, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right, Chris.